Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over a uh, very common problem with the Samsung Galaxy S2 camera. Uh, this is my cousin's phone, he brought it up to me and told me about the issue and it turns out it's very common on the internet. Basically, if you're recording HD video, whether it be 720p or 1080p in very good lighting conditions, even outside in broad daylight, it's perfect and phenomenal. However, if it's in being recorded in low lighting situations, the frames per second drop a lot at random times. If you're not sure what that means, basically, uh, if there's any movement at all, whether you're moving the camera around or the object you're uh, recording is moving, the picture will start to slow down and you'll get like a slight blur for a few seconds and then all of a sudden it'll refocus and pick up the frames per second again and become smooth. But it keeps happening back and forth every so often. So uh, the particular model that my cousin is running is the GT i9100M for the Virgin Mobile Canadian Network. I believe it's the exact same thing for the Bell Canada version. However, people with the GT i9100, so that's without the M, I believe that's the international model for the Galaxy S2, it's happening for them too. Um, whether you're on Android Gingerbread or Android Ice Cream Sandwich. I am personally running the Galaxy S2 LTE version and my Galaxy S2 does not have this problem so it only affects very particular models, okay? Uh, in order to fix this, all you have to do is download a very specific app. The app, which is, if I can find it, is right here, LG Camera. I'll put it in the description so you can get the Google Play Store link. It's a free app. This is the free version I'm using right now. And uh, I need to tell you now that this may or may not work for you because first off, <clears throat> this app is in beta form. So that means it's open for public testing. It's not complete yet. So if it doesn't work for you, please don't put your hopes up right now. Do not like get angry. Uh, try not to downrate the video because I do want other people to try to try this problem, try this fix. Um, but if it doesn't work for you, go ahead and leave a comment and leave some feedback so other users can know. Okay, I had the same problem. Um, you do not need any modifications done on your phone. You just need to download that app, and that's it. Uh, in fact, what happened is I sent this phone into the, the closest repair center on behalf of my cousin. <clears throat> if you see up here in problem 1, ignore problem 2 and 3, I don't know why they put that. In problem 1, they do know about the camera issue, that's why we sent the phone in. And what they did was a full software upgrade, which I don't know how that's possible because this phone already has the latest version of Ice Cream Sandwich available for this particular model, and then a simple factory data reset, which is really lame because I have data factory reset the device three different ways one through the phone settings once by dialing a uh, special code in the dialer given by a Samsung employee over the phone and another one was done by going to the stock recovery I mean their customer service is excellent they're even willing to send like give me free UPS shipping again to send it back in for uh, more repair but I'm gonna refuse on behalf of my cousin as he has told me to um, because this app has already resolved the issue and he's quite upset that he has to send it in for another two weeks and he's still paying for his phone plan. Really lame, but like I said, customer service is really good at Samsung, but this is extremely pathetic on their part. So what I'm going to do is actually <clears throat> open up the app. This ad comes up only once, the first time you open it. Uh, like I said, this is the free version I'm using. And if you switch over to camera mode, or video camera mode rather, then press the menu button at the side here, this is what you'll get. I left everything as it is. Pause the video here and change the video settings to match what I currently have. Okay? The video frame rate must be at 30. That's the most important thing to put down. And enable stereo mode. So again, if you have to, pause the video here, mimic this stuff. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is actually record <clears throat> a, f uh, a video segment with the stock video camera and then in low lighting situation, I'll show you where the lag happens and in the exact same spot in my house with the low lighting situation, the exact same conditions, I'll open LG camera and record and you'll notice that the lag does not persist. So let's continue on. Okay, so here's, these, if you just saw the lag right there in the first two seconds, that's what I was talking about. And it's happening again right now. Now it's smooth again. So in the first 10 seconds, it happened twice. Um, but like I said, it's random. It, it could just stop for like a whole minute, then just come back randomly out of nowhere. 
So in my lovely unfinished basement, the lighting conditions aren't too great. I purposely only left on one light. And there's the lag again. And now, let it focus. Now it's smooth again. So it, it is frustrating. Um, like I said, it's random. You never know what's going to happen. It would be a lot more easy to notice if I had someone like waving their arm in front of me, but um, what can I do, right? Like I said, just try out the app for yourself. It's free, so there's no harm in trying. And here's a lag again. Huge lag. Now it's smooth again. So there, you, you just saw a whole shift. And uh, let me show you the LG camera app for a whole minute. Here's a lag again. I'm not even moving that fast. And now it's smooth again. Now it's lagging again. Wow, it's on a roll of lag all of a sudden. Now it's smooth again. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to call it out anymore because you can kind of tell. Okay, I'm once again back in my basement with the exact same lighting conditions to make it unbiased. And uh, there's something I forgot to mention about this app that camera phones tend to go out of focus and have trouble refocusing randomly, right? Well, with the stock camera app for the Galaxy S2, I don't believe it's possible to make it refocus. If you try to tap the screen and focus it, it'll say zoom is not possible, at least on this model. So with this app, the LG camera app that I'm using right now, if you lose focus and you tap on an object somewhere on your screen, see what just happened there? It tried to manually refocus. So if you lose focus, you can refocus it back to normal by simply tapping the screen. And I'm saying focus a lot. We should keep a calendar. I'm pretty sure it's high right now. So you might have to shield your eyes. I'm going to go to really bright lighting. Go quickly to low lighting. It's not even struggling at all. Works great. So like I said, try not to downrate this video because I did warn you before. Uh, this app is free, but it's in testing mode still. It's not complete, so it may or may not work for you. Uh, depending on your results, please leave a comment and so other users can know what type of Galaxy S2 you're using and how your results fared. If you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, or check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.